the question is the signal x of n is given as 4 to 4 minus 6 and this is the 0 at the time index now this is minus 1 minus 2 this is 1 and asking what is the value of x e of minus 2 what is the meaning of x e is even part of the signal the formula for even part is x e of n equal to x of n plus x of minus n by 2 x of minus n is nothing but time reversal operation so x of minus n signal is this one now this is the 0 at the time index this is minus 1 now add this one and this one with corresponding elements and divided by 2 now we are going to get the x e of n so x e of n equals to 1 by 2 into first add corresponding elements if you add corresponding elements at minus 2 4 is there here 0 is there 4 plus 0 4 like that add corresponding elements now the resultant signal is 4 minus 4 8 minus 4 and 4 this is the 0 at the time index now divided by 2 then 2 comma minus 2 comma 4 comma minus 2 comma 2 this is the 0 at the time index now asking what is the value of minus 2 the value at minus 2 is 2 the answer is 2. The question is what is the Fourier transform of 1 by a plus jt? Okay, we know the standard Fourier transform pair e power minus a t into u of t Fourier transform is 1 by a plus j omega. Next, from duality property we know that x of t Fourier transform is capital X of omega then capital X of t Fourier transform is 2 pi into small x of minus omega. So from this I can write that as 1 by a plus jt Fourier transform is 2 pi into e to the power of minus a into minus omega u of minus omega that is 2 pi e power a omega into u of minus omega. So the right answer is C.
the question is what is the energy density spectrum value of x of n equals to a power n into u of n we know that the energy density spectrum x of s x x of omega is mod x of e power j omega whole square so what is x of e power j omega the dtft of that one is 1 by a 1 by 1 minus a e power minus j omega this is equals to 1 by 1 minus a cos omega plus j a sin omega so now take the mod of this mod x of e power j omega is 1 by square root of 1 minus a cos omega whole square plus a sin omega whole square so now s x x of omega is equals to whole square of this 1 by 1 minus a cos omega whole square plus a sin omega whole square so if we expand this s x x of omega is equals to r substitute directly omega plus 0 if i substitute omega is equals to 0 cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 0 into something is 0 now it becomes one by one minus a whole square that is equals to one by one plus a square minus 2a so the right answer is b is the right answer Question is, signal G of N is given as this one and this is a relationship given G of Z is equals to minus Z power M into G of Z inverse. Then what is the value of capital M? Okay, first let us find G of Z that is equals to 3Z minus 3Z inverse. What is G of Z inverse? 3Z inverse minus 3Z. Now what is the relationship between these two? g of z is equals to minus g of z inverse so this also i can written as minus z power 0 into g of z inverse so if we compare this equation and this equation m is equals to 0 so the right answer is 0 
the question is signal x of n is given as this one and the jet transform of this is this one then what is the value of alpha by beta so we know the standard pair is a power n cos of n omega into u of n jet transform is z square minus a z cos omega by z square minus 2 a z cos omega plus a square now so once you compare a is given as 2 now x of z is equals to a given as 2 if i substitute a is equals to 2 in this equation z square minus 2 z cos omega divided by z square minus 4 z cos omega plus 4 now you compare this equation and this equation if i compare beta i am going to get as 2 and alpha i am going to get as 4 so what is the value of alpha by beta is 2 is the answer the question is sequence x of n is given as that one and what is the average power of the above signal okay first let us try to draw this signal so n x of n if i substitute n is equals to 0 i am going to get 6 if i substitute n equal to 1 so pi by 2 0 if i substitute n is equals to 2 so cos pi minus 1 this is minus 6 if i substitute 3 0 next if i substitute 4 i am going to get again 6 so is it going to be repeated so now you consider what is a this is a periodic signal by seeing this we can say so what is the period of this signal here the signal is 6 is repeating here 6 is generating at 0 again 6 is repeating at 4 so how much time it is taking n is equals to 4 what is the signal within one period x of n is equals to in one period is 6 0 6 minus 6 0 now what is the average power of the signal p average is equals to 1 by n sigma n is equals to 0 to n minus 1 mod x of n whole square this is equals to 1 by 4 sigma n is equals to 0 to 3 mod x of n whole square so this is equals to 1 by 4 into 36 plus 0 plus 36 plus 0 that is equals to 72 by 4 so if i take 72 by 4 i am going to get it is 18 is the answer
the question is x of t Fourier transform x of omega given as 1 by 1 plus omega square and the relationship between y of t and x of t is y of t is equals to d square by dt square of x of t minus 2 then what is the value of capital y of pi so first find the Fourier transform of this signal so we know that from time shifting property x of t minus 2 Fourier transform is e power minus 2 j omega into x of omega that is equals to e power minus 2 j omega by 1 plus omega square next d square x of t minus 2 by dt square Fourier transform is j omega whole square into e power minus 2 j omega by 1 plus omega square from time differentiation property finally what is y of omega j omega whole square into e to the power of minus 2 j omega by 1 plus omega square what is the value of y of pi j pi whole square e to the power of minus 2 j pi by 1 plus pi square that is equals to minus pi square by 1 plus pi square this is the answer answer is d The question is x of t this is a signal given y of t that is a signal given what is the relationship between capital x of f and capital y of f okay first try to relate these two signals what is the relation between these two signals is y of t is equals to minus x of 2t plus 2 first if you do the time shifting operation x of t plus 2 it is shifted to left side minus 4 and this becomes 0. 2t plus 2 means divided by 2 minus 4 by 2 minus 2 0 by 2 0 and it is multiplied with minus and so time reversal so this is a relationship now apply Fourier transform to this now x of t plus 2 Fourier transform is e to the power of j 4 pi f into x of f now x of 2t plus 2 time scaling property Fourier transform is 1 by 2 e to the power of j 4 pi f by 2 into x of f by 2 so the final answer is y of f is equal to it is multiplied with minus sign minus 1 by 2 e to the power of j 2 pi f into x of f by 2 so the right answer is d is the right answer
the question is h of t this is a signal given f of t sin 10t into u of t given and y of t is integration 0 to t f of t h of t minus tau d tau and asking that what is the Laplace transform of y of t. So from the given relationship I can write this signal as y of t is equals to f of t convolution h of t. Now what is y of s from time, dom time domain convolution property f of s into h of s. What is f of s Laplace transform of f of t. So how much it is 10 by s square plus 100 into what is the Laplace transform of that 10 by s plus 10 this is equals to 100 by s plus 10 into s square plus 100 this is the answer. So the right option is C is the right option.
the question is an LTA system is defined as like this h of z is equals to 1 plus z inverse plus z power minus 2 and we are applying one analog sinusoidal signal which is sampled at 18 kilohertz and the sequence so obtained is filtered with this system. What is the frequency of analog sinusoidal signal which cannot pass through the system? So, a system is not passing a signal means the gain offered by the system at that frequency is 0. So, let us first find the frequency response of the system. So, let us replace z is equals to e power j omega then 1 plus e power minus j omega plus e power minus 2 j omega. So, at what value of omega is it going to be 0? So, at omega is equals to 4 pi by 3 h of e power j omega becomes 0. So, it is a digital frequency. So, what is the relationship between analog and digital frequency when we sample a signal is omega is equals to 2 pi into f by fs. This f is nothing but analog frequency. This fs is nothing but sampling frequency. So, f now we have to find out this f. So, let us substitute omega as 4 pi by 3 is equals to 2 pi into f by fs is how much given? 18 kilo hedges is given. So, if you simplify this, you are going to get f is equals to 12 kilo hedges. So, the right answer is C. The question is a system is related as x of t is the input and y of t is the output. This is the transfer function of the system h of s is equals to k by s plus a. And we are applying this is the input 2 cos 40 and the output is 5 cos of 40 minus 45 degrees. Then what is the value of k and a? So we know that if I apply a cos of omega naught t plus 5 as the input to the system, the output I am going to get is A mod of j omega naught into cos of omega naught t plus phi plus an angle of h of j omega naught. So, what is omega naught? Omega naught is the frequency of the input signal. So, what is the input signal we are applying? 2 cos 40. So, omega naught is equals to 4. So, first to find h of j omega that is equals to k by j omega plus a. What is h of j omega naught? k by j 4 plus a. So, now what is the mod of this? Mod of h of j omega naught is equals to k by square root of a square plus 16. So, what is the angle? Is equals to minus tan inverse of 4 by a. So, by considering all this, what is the output I am going to get is y of t is equals to from this mod of h of j omega naught is how much? k by square root of a square plus 16, but original signal already multiplied with 2. So, 2 into cos of 4 t, what is the angle it is offering? Minus tan inverse of 4 by a. So, this is the output I am getting, but already the output given as 5 cos of 40 minus 45 degrees. Compare these two. If I compare the angle tan inverse of 4 by a is equals to 45 degrees, then 4 by a is equals to tan 45. Tan 45 is 1. So, a is equals to 4. Now, compare the magnitudes 2k by square root of a square plus 16 is equals to how much magnitude is given? 5. Already A is equals to 4. 2K by square root of 16 plus 16 is equals to 5. So, 2K is equals to 4 root 2 into 5. So, K is equals to 2 root 2 into 5 that is equals to 10 root 2. So, K is 14.14. So, k is 14.14 and a is equals to 4. The right answer is c is the right answer.